Welcome back to Gordon's Views and Reviews, where we look at everything from world politics to how my grass is growing, and I purchase products and review them to give you an honest evaluation of what they're like. Today, we're going to look at the Mookie yeah, MCM2 video microphone. Um, it comes in a nice case and it has some features I think you'll find interesting. But first of all, let's do the unboxing and we can test the microphone. I'll do a number of different tests for you in, into my video camera, into my digital recorder, um, into my cell phone so that you can get a really clear picture of what this microphone delivers. So there we have the box. Let's see what's inside this box. Inside the box, we have a case. Okay, it's a zippered case. And inside, we have a mounting device for holding the phone. It has the shoe on top, that's handy. So a lot of them don't. We have a step. Whoa, that's a really solid tripod. I'm very impressed with that. Yeah, that's very solid. We have what uh, used to be called a clown nose foam windshield. We have some cables. Looks like there's a TRS, a TRS, and there is a, a, an adapter from, no, there's an adapter to a TRS, so from a TR, TRS to a TRRS. An instruction manual. Oh, Mookie, are you pleased? Happy? If not, contact us here. Warranty information. Instruction sheet. Looks fairly complete. Dead cat. So it looks like it's been run over by a car. The shock mount. That's a fairly substantial shock mount and the microphone itself. On the back it has a green and a red light, a USB charging port, and an audio uh, in and an audio out. So you can have headphones, you can monitor what you're doing also on off switch. Oh, it's charged. That's good. It's a rechargeable battery on this. This is one of the reasons I purchased this is for use with my digital video camera camcorder which does not have uh, it doesn't power the, the microphone from the camera so we'll plug that in a few minutes and we'll see what it sounds like in this video I'm going to look at the Mookie MCM2 video microphone this is a microphone with a built-in rechargeable battery and it has um, a headphone jack so that you can monitor what you're recording as you go. So now I'm going to uh, try the microphone, the external microphone that came with this camera. Now we're recording using the external mic 
that was included with my system. It's not a bad mic. I've generally been fairly pleased with it. It has a little more self-noise than I like. Um, other than that, it's not too bad. It also it doesn't have a, a dead cat. So when I use it outdoors, it does pick up a fair amount of wind noise. And it's nice to have the dead cat to reduce that. So let's compare this with the built-in mic that you've just heard and the Mookie MC-M2 microphone. We'll try that one now. I now have the Mookie MC-M2 microphone plugged into the camera. It is sitting in the cold chew, the same position that the previous mic was. The built-in microphone on the camera as it is a within millimeters of the same position, which is approximately 30 inches from my mouth. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing the sound comparison. As I mentioned, the one of the features of this microphone is that it has a headphone jack, so you can monitor what you're recording as you go. Uh, this is a really handy feature. Um, it doesn't it's not something I would use a whole lot in, certainly not in my most of my on-camera stuff. Um, in the off-camera stuff, uh, there are situations where having this will be extremely valuable. So let's plug it in and see how that works. This microphone seems to be very sensitive. Um, as you can see, I've got the headphones on. The minute I put them on, I could hear all the little sounds in, in the room. Um, really interesting. Uh, there's no latency, which is a good thing. So using them is not an impediment. You're not uh, hearing yourself an echo of yourself. Um, yeah, this is this is quite good. Yeah, I'm impressed. It's a cloudy, rainy day, but I decided to come out and take a few videos just for reference photos for some of my landscape paintings and to test this Mookie MCM2 microphone. It's currently plugged into my camera. I'm sitting in my car trying to stay dry. I'll turn it around and see. It's about, what, 18 inches maybe from my face. So. back around to see what we can see here. Now I am testing the Mookie MCM2 microphone. It is plugged into my Tascam. The current uh, gain level is set at 46. I'm going to turn that down a little bit and see how much of an effect we have. Okay, the uh, gain level is now turned down to 30, and I'm still getting good strong readings here. The microphone's only about six, five, six inches from my mouth, so I would expect it to be reasonably good. Uh, interested to hear what the sound quality is like. I decided to set up outside today because it's a nice windy day, and I thought it would give us an opportunity to hear the difference the dead cat will make on this uh, microphone. So this is all without the dead cat and I will put the dead cat on now and we'll see what that sounds like. The wind is blowing about the same strength as before, maybe even a little stronger and uh, this should be a good test of how much the dead cat suppresses the wind noise. So what are some final thoughts on this Mookie MC M2 microphone and, and accessory kit? Overall, I have been extremely impressed with this outfit. The gain on the mic is, is quite high, and as a result, it gets uh, very good sound quality at good levels on the camera, on my digital recorders, uh, wherever I'm using it, it it's, it's very sensitive. I'm very, very impressed with the quality of this microphone. The uh, battery life, um, seems to be very good. I have uh, only had to charge it once. I've had it about a month now. 
and I've been doing a lot of testing with it. I've tested it into my Tascam recorder, as you've heard. I've also, I'm also testing it into the Avistor V508. Very impressed with the kit that came with this microphone. The, the bag is a semi-hard bag. Um, it appears to be waterproof, um, zipper closure. Inside you have the net to hold accessories, and below you have the foam cutouts for the various parts. There are three things here that really impressed me. One is the quality of the bag itself. The other is the quality of this tripod. This tripod is, is metal. It's uh, solid. Everything works really well on it. It's very smooth. Um, just very, very impressed with the quality of this. I, I've seen a few others uh, from other companies. They're good. This one is, is just, it just blew me away. The other thing I wanted to talk about was this, which is the mount for the um, cell phones. It uses a screw device to expand it and you fit your phone in and then tighten it down. Works really, really well. Um, it's plastic by the feel of it. Um, it, it seems well made. Um, the shoe adapter, whatever, here is, is good. Um, one thing I really, really like is on top here, I don't know if you can see it well, uh, there is a shoe so that you can mount your phone, you can mount your microphone on top. And it twists to a few different positions so that you can have it where you need it tightens down. Quite impressed. Um, it's not quite as good as the newer one. I have that here just for comparison. The newer, newer, however they pronounce it, I don't know. This is solid metal. Solid. It, it's really something. And it's a spring. A little easier, a uh, little better construction. That said, there is absolutely nothing wrong with this Mookie kit. It is fabulous. I love it. Absolutely love it. The um, dead cat, as I mentioned before, the dead cat is, looks out like it's been run over by a truck and uh, very flat. Um, a month out, it's, it's still pretty flat. Okay, it's still, you know, not not a lot I've been able to do to revive it. However, it does work. It's very effective at cutting down wind noise. It uh, It's a good dead cat. Just a flat cat. The base on the shock mount is made from a hard plastic. It's approximately two inches long. Um, one thing I like very much about it is all the elements are screwed in place. So you can adjust, uh, undo, or whatever. Um, I had an incident where I managed to cross-thread the, um, the large nut that tightens down on the hot shoe. Um, I was able to unscrew everything and re-thread it, and no problem. Works great. I like that a lot. The one complaint I have about it is the microphone is mounted more or less over the center of this two inch mount and the uh, hot or the cold shoe rather uh, adapter is in the middle of it so you have a four inch microphone you've got two inches sticking out the back side and two inches sticking out the front side and on my uh, camcorder that's a non-issue on my dslr it's an issue because it makes it difficult to see through the viewfinder. If you're using the live view, eh, not a problem. But if you were actually using it on the camera and you were filming and you were using the viewfinder, it would be a problem. Um, one other issue, it's a minor thing, but it, it would make a significant uh, difference, I think. The two lights for this this microphone the on light 
and the charging light are mounted on the back of the microphone uh, next to the, the ports. And that makes a certain amount of sense. The on switch is on the top of the microphone. It would make so much more sense to have the on light on the top of the microphone. Then you could see from in front of the microphone or behind the microphone whether it is in fact on. So you wouldn't have the surprise of finishing a recording and finding that you forgot to turn on the microphone. I think it would be a significant improvement. I'd love to hear what you think of this microphone. Um, so far of all the microphones I've tested, I think this is probably my favorite. Um, the volumes are good. It works on my camcorder, whereas um, the so-called plug-and-play ones don't. Um, the, the quality of the sound is, is excellent. Uh, the kit that comes with it is fabulous. Really nice kit. Love it. I hope you found this uh, video helpful. I have hoped there was some good information in there for you. If you enjoyed this, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Look forward to seeing you soon. Take care and stay safe.